Hey everyone, this is Ivan from Yellowfin, and in this video, I'll present some of the key highlights from the Yellowfin 9.4 release. Let's have a look at some of my stories here. In this release, all of your stories can now be saved into PDF. Just simply click on Export to PDF from the top menu. Here, you have access to the usual configuration for PDF files, including page sizes and orientation. As part of this enhancement, you can also toggle the display of different items on the resulting PDF, including switching off banner images and other details if necessary. And lastly, the ability to password protect your stories in PDF. We have also added the ability to share stories with embed links. You can now copy and paste the YouTube style embed links and paste them into the HTML portion of your web pages, applications, and intranet portals. When it runs, the link will generate the story outside the platform, and all analytic content within it is still interactive. Public stories are now also shareable with the guest user role. This means you can now share your stories with readers who might not necessarily have a Yelpin login to the platform. For dashboards and presentations, based on popular demand, we have reinstated the ability to toggle between a report and chart on Canvas layouts. This allows your consumers to swap between the two content types and look for specific rows on a tabular report when necessary. We have also improved this option where you can now make this available on a per report basis for your dashboards and presentations. In this release, we have also enabled approval workflows for dashboards and presentations. Approval workflows ensure all created analytic content gets validated by designated experts prior to being published to a wider group of users. Let's have a look. Here you can see Dan trying to publish a new dashboard. Before saving it, the workflow asks Dan to provide a description of changes and request for approval. After the click, this creates a task in the background for the expert approvers to review the dashboard. While this is in progress, the dashboard is watermarked accordingly as seen on a browse page. Let's log in again as an expert approver in Yellowfin. You will now see a notification informing you of this request on your timeline. This also allows you to collaborate with the requester and validate their work before approving it. Upon approval, the dashboard will be published and appear with a new approved watermark. This lets everyone else within the organization know that this new piece of content has been reviewed and is safe for consumption and reuse. Let's go back to the dashboard and take a look at PDF exports again. For secure PDF files, we have increased the encryption levels. The PDFs that are generated now utilize 256-bit AES encryption. However, there is also a new configuration option if you'd like to revert to 128-bit RC4 encryption if necessary. With export to PDF being introduced to dashboards and presentations in the previous release, this means consumers could be, in some cases, exporting some very large multi-tab dashboards or multi-slide presentations. To help manage the user experience here, we have added background execution queue support for PDF exports. In 9.4, when Yellowfin detects that a PDF export is taking longer than usual, it will offer you options in a pop-up. You can either wait for it to finish, and when it does, the pop-up will disappear, with the PDF being placed in your downloads folder. Or you could tell Yellowfin to email it to you automatically when it is done, or just cancel it altogether. These new options allow you to go to do other things within the Yellowfin platform as this process takes place in the background. With background execution queue support, administrators within Yellowfin can now also see every PDF process that's currently running within the platform and decide to either throttle or kill these processes as part of performance management. For the data discovery product, you can now utilize Sparkline formatters in reports that are separated by sections. In this report, let's drop premium category into sections. Sessions are a great way to break up large complex tabular reports into a more readable format for your readers, and in this case, by premium category. As you can see, you can now have unique sparklines displayed for each section in the report. From a platform perspective, we have performed several enhancements to platform, content, and user governance. 
This includes adding Kerberos support for Oracle databases. This form of authentication is now available in two areas. Firstly, connecting to Oracle databases as a data source for analytics. In this release, when you are creating a new data source connection or modifying an existing one for Oracle databases, you will now see a new authentication option called Kerberos. This option will utilize the Kerberos configuration that has been set as a global property. Secondly, when installing the Yellowfin repository database into Yellowfin, you can also utilize Kerberos authentication within the installer. At this step, just simply select the Kerberos option and provide the path to the configuration file. In this release, we have also improved the forgotten password process to include tokens that expire after a specific period. This enhancement also includes compulsory user interactions starting from the confirmation email to reset your password and log back into the platform. Last but not least is the introduction of the super user role function. This new role function enables administrators to manage everyone's content within the deployment, both public and private, irrespective of content security. In order to have access to this capability, you will need to enable this within the admin console. This affects the visibility of this role function within role management. Switch this on and save it against your administrator roles. Let's see this in action. I've logged in with a different account and just like any other user, I might create analytic content. In this case, I'm going to save it as a private one. Now as time goes on, multiplied over thousands of users, some deployments might experience content proliferation if content best practices aren't being followed. So if we swap back to my original admin account, you can see that Dan's private content is not only now visible to me, but I also have the ability to edit, delete, and manage his content accordingly. The main benefit here is that rather than making modifications to user and content security models, administrators can simply utilize this new role function and manage both cleanups and health checks from within their own accounts. And that's it for key highlights today. For all other enhancements and improvements in Yellowfin 9.4, you can view the release notes on our website and join the conversation in our community. Don't forget to check out our wiki, blog, and resources page for more information on the Yelfin suite. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.